Hello everyone, welcome to our last video in the Getting Started in Canvas series. Uh, what we want to do on this video is simply repeat all the tasks that we've shown so far, you know, how to log in, how to navigate, how to submit stuff, but we want to show you how to do it on a cell phone rather than on a computer because we know a lot of you use cell phones. Uh, so what we want to do is show you how to do all that on your phone. So the first thing you need to do is download the Canvas app, uh, get it from your store, it is free, and then once you've done that, go ahead and open up the app. All right, once you open it up, you're gonna see a login page. The first time you're actually gonna to have to type your school name in. You'll see this screen, start typing in Bates, select Bates Tactical College, and that will actually take you to our login page. All right, and so we're gonna click on that login to Canvas button and go ahead and log in. All right, so once you log in, you should see your dashboard. This looks pretty similar to what you had on the other one. You know, you see your classes there. You can click on them to get in. You have a few items down at the bottom there to do, and you can adjust this screen a little bit. Uh, if you click on the top right corner under settings, you will see some options. Nothing that exciting. You know, you can change it grid versus list, show your grades, items like that. The more important one, once we're done, is if you click on the left-hand side, you will see the ability to go into settings and change things like, for example, if you click on the landing page, you can decide where you want your uh, where you want to land. You know, do you want to land on the dashboard, on uh, notifications inbox once you log in? You can also click on appearance to change the dark theme if you want to do that as well. Once we've made our choices, we get back to this dashboard here. And then again, we're looking at our classes. We're gonna scroll down and find the class that we're looking for. In this case, that Bates Accessibility Training we've been working with. We click on it. And the big thing you notice right off the bat is we don't have a home page anymore. There's no text. It's just that navigation screen is all we have. If you wanna see the home page, you actually just click on it. And now you can actually see the home page. You see it's all the content there. Everything's there, it's just not there as soon as you log into the class. The more important thing is that navigation menu so that you can get around, you know, look at your announcements, look at your syllabus, see how you're doing the class by looking at grades, items like that. Once you've done that, we can click on modules to go ahead and navigate. And that gets us into our class, okay? So that's uh, getting in, navigating, getting around a class and our dashboard, what we want to do now is submit an assignment because this one definitely is a little bit different on your mobile app. So we're going to scroll down, click on project. Uh, you'll notice you still have, you know, the instructions from the instructor. So you can scroll down and see all of that. Again, please do that. Uh, one thing that isn't very good is the rubric is hidden. A little bit you have to click on that top button that says submissions and rubric in order to see it and then once you've done that click on rubric and even with that you then have to select the individual scores you know five or three or zero in order to do it I agree you know that's very clunky it's much easier to have in one place but that's the only way that you can go in is click on rubric and then click on the individual scores for each item in order to read and see what they are okay all right, so let's go ahead and submit that assignment. We're gonna click on the blue button there, submit assignment, and you'll see the same two options, text entry and file upload. So type directly into Canvas or upload a file that's on your phone somewhere and submit that one. So let's click on text entry. And you'll tap in there and then go ahead and type it in. What you'll notice is it's really good for just typing a short answer, a paragraph, something like that, especially if it's text only, it's great for that. Uh, if you're trying to do something a little more complicated, maybe type in a math equation, insert pictures and videos, things like that. It can be a little troublesome. So if you have to do that, you might wanna use a computer or create something in Word or Google Docs. We'll show you how to do that in a little bit and submit that instead, okay? So that's how we do that. We can also click on File Upload. And if we know where it is, it's actually pretty simple and straightforward. We just click on the Add File, go find it in our phone, click on the file, and hit the Submit button. And there we are. We see the confetti. We're done. 
Okay, so last let me show you what a lot of people want to do is actually type something up on their phone in uh, Google Docs, Word, you know, a file from their Google Drive, something like that, and submit that. Let's show you how to do that. And so what you're going to do on this is actually go out of Canvas and go into the app. In this case, I'm going to go into Google Drive. It's the same process for anything. I'm going to find my file, click on the three dots next to it, and then from the pop-up menu that appears, I'm going to choose Open In. When you click on that, you should see Canvas Student there. If you don't, uh, especially if it's the first time, just scroll over, click on the More button, and choose Canvas from there. And then once you've done it once, it should pop, pop up here. We click on it. We do have to remember the course and the assignment, so I click on Select Course, and I choose my course from the list. There you see it. I'm going to select Bates Accessibility Training. Same thing. I clicked on Select Assignment, click on Project. And once I've done that, I simply click on Submit. And Google is going to submit this in Canvas. As you see, you get a congratulations message and the confetti, meaning that this is from Canvas, not Google, which is important. Canvas is acknowledging that it's been received. If you're paranoid, and you should be, you can simply go back into Canvas, click on Project, and we see right here that it has been submitted, so we know we did that successfully. Okay, so this is the end of the last video. Hopefully everything goes smoothly for you, and most importantly, again, hope you have a great quarter here at Bates.